You guys have no idea how tempting it is. I is. We're going to have to wait till we get to rank 11, but as soon as I get these demo charges, we're going to just blast this shi ship to hell. Uh, let's see. Okay, time to repair some things. When they get down to 50%, I'll repair them. They're cheap and barely affects my debt anyway. Uh, let's see. So what upgrades do we got? So we already got grapple. We could increase the amount of tethers. Oh, but that requires a silly amount of LT. Uh, let's see, cutter range. You see, what I really want is uh, grapple strength. But I gotta be rank nine, have a lot more LT than I currently do. Boy, they really did just kind of piecemeal this. Okay, progression is definitely slower than it used to be. I don't necessarily mind it, because I think it speeds up faster. Is Lynx an acronym? No. <laughs> All right. Our friend Lou thinks she's the resident expert on how to deal with a pressurized ship. So I'm going to let her take the lead on this one. She always give me a hard time, but you know I'm good. Sure thing, Lou. Take it away. Okay, hey Rook, time for the fun stuff. And by fun, I mean incredibly dangerous. There can be lots of pockets of pressurized speed throughout a ship. It's best to scan ahead and see what's up. Activate your scanner and let's have a look. Your scanner will show you information about the interior of the ship, including whether a room is pressurized or not. Red is unpressurized and green is pressurized. Essentially, if you make a cut between the two spaces, you'll cause a violent decompression. Uh, the correct term is explosive decompression. <laughs> explosive, same deal. <laughs> okay, we don't want to crack into the ship and have it pop. When a ship is pressurized like this, best to go in through the airlock. Use the scanner to locate it. Oh, I can't do anything. They won't let me switch tools. Dang, I was really hoping I could skip this tutorial and just blast a hole in this thing to make them mad. Now, cycle the airlock to pressurize it. There should be a switch in there. And you're in. Most ships are pressurized, and you can depressurize them using the atmosphere regulator. Should be one just inside. Although, as you'll learn, sometimes there are good reasons to keep the rooms pressurized. What you want to do is open all of the interior doors before you depressurize anything. Oh, data drive. I haven't actually found any of those yet. Uh, let's see. Any other doors that I can open? Nope, I think we're good. Okay, where's the thing? In here. There we go. That's all there is to it. Now, sometimes you're going to have to depressurize the ship violently. <clears throat> Explosively. Explosively. If you don't want to get stuck through a one-inch hull fracture, use your hands to grab onto any nearby surface. Oh, uh, and watch out for differential pressure between areas of the ship. Sometimes compartments can have isolated pressurization systems. Remember, scan ahead. And that about covers it. Good luck out there, Rook. Blue out. Decreasing. Air pressure level decreasing. Why? Air pressure level increasing. That was dumb. Why is my helmet freaking out? I thought I fixed it. What is the pressure? Oh. Was that me? I'm confused. Okay, it looks like pressure is off. But yeah, I was really hoping, you know, keeping the door open would let me depressurize the whole damn thing all at once. And it was just like, no, we're closing this door. And it's like, no, 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 keep it open. I guess maybe I should have just put a hole in the door.
I mean, it's fine by me. It doesn't matter one way or another. You lose all the air in a completely internal depressurization incident. K kinda. It was. It was playing a little weird. Why not? What's wrong with this ship? There we go. It's like it doesn't want me to tear this thing apart. And I'm not quite sure why. Oop. There we go. It just didn't want to go for whatever reason. Uh, it's fine. Off you go. So how much is this ship even worth? It's worth nothing. Object accepted for processing. There's no point for me actually ripping this thing to shreds. Or there is, but like, is there a reactor in the back? No, there's not even a reactor on this dang thing. All right, screw it. Uh. Let's just loot what we can. And then I'm just gonna bail. Cause like, this is worth so much less Salvage secured. than the last Account ship. Applied. Oh, there was the atmosphere regulator in, for that room. Okay, well, here's the thing. Uh, let's see. Flush the nacelles. We're just gonna go hella sloppy on this one. Cause there's there's no reason Valuable to actually care. Did it? Yeah, there we go. Salvage lost. Reward decreasing. <laughs> Holy shit. They did not like that. But you know what? Impossible to care. This is a free ship anyway. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm... I'm far more interested in just chucking this in the processor and then just piecing out. What about the valuable posters? What am I going to do? I'm going to lose 300 bucks on those posters. That's what the speedrunners do. Just grab the valuable stuff and go. I mean, the thing is, I need the Lynx tokens. I just don't need them that bad. Okay. I think the rest of this, I'm just going to send in. I don't know if I've ever actually done this before where I just send the whole damn hog in. Caution. Tether supplies are low. I... Can I do this? Nah, it doesn't look like it. This literally is not worth my time. I'll have to wait. Uh, I'll have to wait till later. Scan for the reactor. There's no reactor on that ship. Yeah. When I have the big bigger tethers, I think what I'm going to do is just load up one of the easy ships and then just chuck it in a processor and see how much money I make. They'll yell at me, but I don't care. Because, yeah, if I'm not going to make... I guess I would have gotten a repair kit, but 
I don't care. Hey there, Rook. So, Weaver got busy and asked me to review your salvage records today. Um, uh, I saw that you snagged an old data drive in that ship. Look, I know that the networks on Earth don't really give you the full picture about what's happening across the colonies. Don't want you all getting a read on what's actually going on off Earth. These data drives, though, they're uncensored info, and they'll give you the full view. Sometimes it's useless junk, you know, someone's recipes or bad photos flexing in front of the mirror. <laughs> Other times, it's a corporate rail mail or a ship captain's personal log. Anyway, don't tell Weaver this, but I'm sending you some software to extract the usable data off these things. You'll see a new data recovery mode in your HAB terminal. Soaking in solar radiation tends to mangle most of the data, but you should be able to pull a couple of intact files off each drive. Hopefully, it'll give you a better sense of the wider world. <laughs> Warts and all. Have fun with it. Later, Rook. All right. So, honestly, we didn't make any money from that one, but I didn't really expect to. Start ship. Let's actually find a ship that's worth my time. Um, maybe that was... I just didn't see a whole lot of LTs off of it. Yeah, the thing is, when it boils down to it... It's just worth doing the javelins. Especially now that I know how to cut them apart even better. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Shell uh, is going to be making fries and patty melts for dinner. And I'm just sitting here drooling at the thought of them. We're going to go out and grab... Uh... We're going to go out to the, the local Japanese, gro Japanese grocery store as kind of like a... Um... I guess that's one way to slow me, uh, slow myself down. Um, but we're gonna go out to the grocery store to pick up a bunch of stuff to make miso soup later. Is there pressure on this one? I'm seeing a very small amount. Very small though. Mostly just the cockpit seems to be pressurized. Uh, let's see. Which makes me wonder a little bit how I want to do this one. Airlock Who's pressure that? Levels increasing. Okay, so the cockpit's here. Part of it is I can't tell if the cockpit has its own separate air airlock system. So I'm just pressure gonna pressurize this room increasing. first. Where the hell? Oh, the door closed. Oh, that's annoying. Air pressure level decreasing. Yeah, because what I want to do is is pressurize the whole dang room system, but it won't let me do that. Airlock pressure levels dropping. I guess each one of these is just like a full on. Airlock pressure levels increasing. Airlock, it's fine. All I have to do is just hit this over here. Air pressure level decreasing. Okay, let's just stow that there for a hot second. Let's see. There's some other connection points. There were, but it looks like they're outside. All right, pop these off. Oh, data drive. 
falling asleep on the job, Salvager? That's a great way to lose a limb and or life. Lynx cannot encourage the use of illegal narcotics. However, research has shown that, when used in moderation, recreational stimulants and microdoses of hallucinogenics can provide salvagers with significant gains in both performance and yield. Furthermore, the Lynx Board of Directors voted unanimously to eliminate any and all drug tests for salvage division employees, because we at Lynx believe the privacy of our employees is paramount. Lynx, making the world a better place. Can I, can I, oh yeah, I can just scoot out through this. Well, that's handy. I'm so glad they voice acted those. Previously, those were just purely text-to-speech and it was ghoulish. Now it's ghoulish for a completely different reason. What do you mean crushing alert? Anyway. Credits awarded. Man, that was convenient. Just kind of to shreds you say this thing. Uh, let's see. Wait, what? Your vital signs have been lost. Please reboot your monitor. I guess I clipped myself in the head with that thing. Well, that sucks. Yeah, it smacked the back of my head, I guess. All right, all right, breathe. You're okay. Got yourself good there. Don't sweat it. Happens to the best of us. Always good to review your spare replacement form and see how you can avoid future uh, mishaps. Too many spares will rack up the debt. That's how they get you. Okay, let's get back to work. Weave her up. Okay, well that was a bit of a surprise. I didn't think it was that bad. The main problem is we need a better gravity gun. I'm a little sloppy because my current, uh... My current capabilities are a little on the slow side. And it's hard to work with. And so, yeah, I try chucking things around maybe a little bit more than I need to. Hence why that happened. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. I don't know. I, I really wish the upgrades were more forthcoming with this game. Because uh, I definitely had gotten at least one or two gun upgrades by this point. I want to say in the early Account access version. And the fact that they've uh, nickel and dimed it that much harder doesn't actually feel great. It'd be awesome if they le left your corpse just sitting around. Holy shit. That could have killed me. Valuable I was like, eh. Credits awarded. I'm just gonna use tethers, they're cheap. At least you're getting some things out of there. I'm surprised that was a full death and not a big loss of health. Yeah, I think it's specifically because they it hit uh it hit me in the head. That I I bet they do simulate different uh like, different damage values. Boy! Yeah, it's just not working out great for me today. Once we have, hopefully, a better gun, then it'll just fire off in a direction as opposed to just spin. What the hell? This airlock has air in it. Um... There we go. Airlock pressure levels increasing. That should just open the door. I really wish there was a vent all oxygen from ship upgrade. I love it how it was just firing oxygen at me. Seriously? There's no oxygen on the other side. Open the dang door. I don't know. Uh, 
I like what they've done with the O2 cycling, but it does feel a little bit uh, clumsy. To some degree, it feels kind of weird that I have to do it on a room-by-room -room basis. Whereas it should be pretty easy to just have a, like, vent all oxygen from the cockpit. So it's more of, like, find and get to the cockpit, then remove oxygen. Vental oxygen is just demo charges. You just have to cut safety corners. I guess. But at that point, I might as well just put holes in with the uh, the cutter. Like, very small holes. It certainly feels like that's what I might want to just end up doing for future depressurized ships. Is just open it up from the outside and not even think about it. Because previously, all you had to do is maybe uh, flip one or two things, and there went all the oxygen. Uh, and now it's just like, everything pressurizes and depressurizes, and it's like, I don't know, give me an override that just empties air from the room I'm in. Um, don't give me all the extra bells and whistles. And I don't need them. Boy, that's bright. I'm very glad I'm not playing this late at night, because that would hurt. Let's see. I feel like they made it hard on purpose so that you want to be un unsafe. That's a good point. You're right. Okay. So we're not done this. Okay. Some of these are starting to get disconnected here. Anything else? Well, the butt just fell off. Do we have any side connectors on this? Yep, we do. Boy, that's a lot of cut points holding this this dang thing on. Oh well. Okay, what do we got on the other side? And eh, just more of this. How much? How many LP? LT? Wow, yeah. They really want me to do these ships instead. Okay, so what happened to the previous shifts? Uh, did they get rid of them? Huh. Sloppy that, but that's okay. I think it's because this cut point didn't actually get destroyed. No? Kind of. Maybe... Maybe I need to be in this mode to actually remove these cut points. Or, or there's something on the outside. I, I am unsure. Yeah. Uh, are we gonna have like the remnants of attachments? Maybe there's something outside that I haven't, uh, that I don't see. Is this? Yeah, this is this is Dunzo. What's the other one? Yeah, I guess we never really did disconnect the rings on this. Valuable oh, that's why. Credit that's why it's still hooked up. More so than the cut points, it's this. That's why this is still hooked up. Uh, 
Okay. I'm just gonna try and cut more of the ring off. I should do it at this angle. That work? That works. I'm not gonna say I'm trying to be sloppier with this, but... God damn it. I'm trying to be a bit sloppier so I can be faster. But of course, then the preview is like, yeah, this is a fine cut, and then cuts way further than that. that and it's like, well, I don't know if I, I'm i at fault for that gaff. I guess I am for being hasty. Okay. I forgot that the actual soundtrack for this is just plain good. Reminds me of Bastion. As it should. Caution. Tether supplies running low. Material okay. deposited. Are these all loose? They are. Okay, fine. I'll play it actual safe here. It's not so bad, it's just like... I was being mostly careful, and the game's still just like, nah. -uh. Okay. There we go. Let's see if I can pull out this giant hunk of junk. Not only can I pull out the giant hunk of junk, I pretty much tore this whole thing to shreds. Okay, there we go. Ooh. I. Uh, this is a bit of a chaos. Yeah, let's just use tethers. I don't have any more tethers. Excuse me, I would like to buy some more tethers. Measure four times, cut once. Who has time to measure? Safety third. What's one and two? Just, just for reference. To Thank you for just so I know what I'm, Have I'm nice prioritizing. I guess it would be profit and time. Probably profit and time. Okay, so all of this just goes into the processor anyway. So I'm just gonna send that over, and if that just kidnaps this biz business, then so be it. And if it leaves it hanging, at least it'll leave it hanging in an easy location for me to grab. It's in this panel over here. Okay. Looks like Tether ran out on this thing. Probably got over over strains. We'll just do what? No, god damn it. Caution. Other supplies are low. Watching that go. Valuable object process. Okay, so let's start removing some of these power cells. Did they get everything out of this? I think it got every cut point at the very least. ring loose. I think so. Yeah, I think this ring is totally loose. There we go. Oh! So this does come off. Okay. Okay. Hopefully that just gets sucked in the rest of the way. Move that panel. Object. Maybe I can't. I'll have to. I'll have to take some ogles. Look around a little bit. Salvage 
Deposit accepted. Because I can definitely transfer. remove this. Uh, let's see. Do we have any more cut points here? No. So for whatever reason, this this panel in this section can pop off, but not the topmost one. Stinky. All right. No, that's fine. Uh, let's see. We've got a spare door. I got a lot of things that I can just kind of rip out of here. Processing valuable object. Credit awarded. I might want to specifically... I just cut the passage in pieces? I don't know. Extracting the interiors has gotten a little harder. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that there. So the big thing is, I want to get rid of this panel here, but I know if I shoot at it, uh, if I cut through that, there's a very real possibility we explode the entire uh, fuel tank setup. Oh! There's no central fuel tank. It's all on the outside. Well then! That makes my life a thousand times easier. Because, yeah, if I don't have to worry about a, a central line here, then I can just kind of tear this thing to pieces. I'll have to pay attention to that when picking future ships to salvage. It's weird that I can see this being an actual job many years from now. I mean, it already is for, like, regular ships and cars and stuff. It, like, that's not weird in the slightest. That makes total sense. I think it would be different from this to some degree. Honestly, by the time that we have this level of thing, we might even have um, more intelligent drones to do it. And so you'd effectively have people running the drones instead. Because I don't, I don't think our society would, uh, would exactly look kindly upon cloning for the sake of just having disposable people to rip ships apart. Yeah, drones do, don't need health insurance, so yeah, probably. And, like, you could absolutely have them just program... I, to some degree, I almost feel like you could somewhat write a script to play this game for you. Uh... That for the most part, you just feed it the exact floor plan and um, it'd be able to kind of figure out what the what the optimum cuts are. Uh, or maybe you just feed it the optimum cuts and like how to play it. But like, I, I bet you could task bot this game to some degree. The only problem is it would not be able to handle um, any more cut points. Nope. Uh, I don't think it it would be able to handle pressurization. Like, the, the light randomization that makes this game interesting to me would throw off a task pretty bad. 